Hello there, you're welcome to the CIA Corner here on TAF TV where we make commentaries, in-depth analysis regarding headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper, local news, international news and the world at large. Alright, today we'll be addressing, um, we, are, we are going back to minimum wage and reverse crisis. Alright, my name is Ayo Okeme, let's not forget I am your co-host for today. Now before we bring you details regarding our minimum wage and the current unfolding, uh, in regards to reverse crisis. Let's go on a quick break. Do well to stay tuned. I'll see you shortly. All right, you're welcome back from that very quick break. Now, our dearest president, just like his words during our democracy day, our 25 years of democracy as a nation, he said he will not turn his back on Nigerians regarding the fact that we are going through a lot. And secondly, we are not the only nation that is going through economic crisis. If we look outside Nigeria, you will discover that other countries are also facing their own challenges. So the Nigerians should stop throwing stones at the federal government. They are, they, are, they are putting their heads to work. They have gone back to their drawing tables and they are praying and hoping for a better economy very soon. So Nigerians should keep praying and hoping for a better economy. Now, re regarding the fact of going back to, drawing, uh, to their drawing tables, our president has made it clear that uh, when it comes to minimum wage, that um, the federal government will only have to pay what they can afford, what will not have to crumble the economy. So we know uh, for the past two months now and are still counting the issue of minimum wage as, as proposed by our NLC, that's the Organized Labor Congress. They brought it first at over 600 and something thousand and the, 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 the letter brought it down to over four something and finally they stood their ground on 250 thousand naira and that is what they have been demanding currently even till um today being 26th of june 2024 they are still pressing home their point saying they want 250 thousand even when private sectors agreed to pay um 62 thousand you know uh, uh, as i went they demanded for 250 federal government said okay they will pay them 60 thousand and uh Organized private sector said they are going to be paying them 62,000. Then it then boils back to um, various uh, governors across 36 states. Most governors were of the opinion that, see, they cannot even afford the 60,000. Some uh, states like Zamfara State said they are going to pay 30,000. And um, two weeks ago, um, a list of um, the abilities actually dropped online where most states were saying, okay, I will pay 45. Uh, quite su surprisingly, my state was ranking number one in terms of um, high payment of minimum wage. River State government promised to pay a living wage of 85,000, followed by a quite state of 65. And the likes, other states were still other months. They said they wanted to pay 30,000 and 35,000 for the five, depending on their ability, depending on the ability of the state. This has actually made a lot of headlines uh, across our newspaper. All right, now, responding to this issue of minimum wage currently, Minister of Information to our dearest president, the president of Mohammed Idris, said to the council that this issue was actually brought up in the Federal Executive Council as at yesterday and was brought down because it is not an issue that we can just sit as a house and take decisions regarding this. Since our organized labor are still adamant and saying they want a, a living wage of 250, that they cannot make decisions unless they get full reactions, full conclusion from other states of the Federation. And the president have also said that he will consult with other states of the Federation. He will consult with other governors across the 36 states that they have to uh, put their heads together in order to make a good decision regarding uh, the, the final agreement of minimum wage. Since our organized labor are still pressing them their point that they need they won't even accept a hundred thousand, even if our federal government decides to pay them a hundred thousand, they would not accept it. So our president has said that he has not, he is yet to make final conclusions, and although he sent it to the uh, federal executive council to make uh, good conclusions to it, and they and they actually brought down um, that particular bill. And saying that, just like I said, they cannot make conclusions because they have not heard from other governors across the 36 states in our dearest nation, Nigeria. So for now, that issue has been pressed down unless they get a final conclusion to it. And just like what uh, uh, our private sectors are saying, that they are willing to pay 62000 regardless of uh, whatever 
our president or the, 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 the National Assembly will finally bring to conclusions. In as much as we believe that NLC are still adamant of the fact that, see, they will not even accept anything less than 250000 So we are hoping and praying that this particular headline gets to see the light of day. And funny enough, most Nigerians are also speculating that there is, there is actually money on ground to actually settle these men. At least 150000 would actually go a long way to, uh, to better the, the lives of our workers. In as much as we know that every workforce deserves their pay and for the fact that most senators across, because Nigerians will always make reference to our senators, the House of Red members that get allowances, they just spend more, let's say less than two years in, in, in office and they, they get more allocations, more um, bonuses, how much more those that have actually committed their livelihood to serving the betterment of the nation, that they deserve more pay. It shouldn't be something that um, our presidents and, and, and National Assembly should, should be beating around the bush. They should actually settle our workers. But we must not also forget, just like what our president said, it, has, it is a global uh, economic crisis. So we should also keep our fingers crossed in regards to this headline and see what our dearest president and what the 36 governors across our dearest nation Nigeria would have to say regarding this and we pray that finally that this um, uh, issue of minimum wage will get to see the light of day all right now bringing it back home to River State we are not done with our crisis although uh, uh, every headline still says a uh, rivers crisis all the time but I, I bet you there is peace in River State, regardless of the fact that it looks as if River State has been very, very hot. Now, of late, our ex House of Assembly member, in person of Martins Emewele, actually led a peaceful protest in quotes to the police station. That means they have actually taken their, uh, the, the protest away from our street and, and they took it to uh, the, the police headquarters here in River State. And what was the major aim of this protest? To give kudos to our uh, police personnel and the IGP for taking full control of our secretariat across the 23 local government area. For those of us that have been following this news closely, have been close marking the River State, just like I told you uh, earlier, if you, if, you have, if you have not actually um, read this news, I bet you should actually go back and get a full details about this news. For those that have actually followed up this news back to back, we, we could actually remember that as of yesterday, some ammunition were, were found and some Nigerians were speculating that, okay, this is from Wiki's boys and they are here to cause war in, in, in River State. They are about to declare war. And also making reference to what APC chapter uh, chairman in River State said that the federal government should declare River State state of emergency. Now, could this be the reason why this ammunition were, were actually smuggled into Adjere State, River State? Now, this protest, as are carried out and led by uh, Martins Emewele, they are stating it that it is a peaceful protest. They are only out there to, to thank our police personnel for taking over the, the protest and ensuring law and order. So at this point, uh, the protest led by Martins Emewele, they are stating it clearly that it is not, uh, they are not trying to declare war in River State. You know, it is quite funny because um, though they are telling us it is a peaceful protest, if you go across most um, newspaper headlines, you discover that um, they, they, they are tagging this, their protest to be anti fubaras youth. It actually rings the bell. It, it shows that, okay, uh, they are, they, they are uh, in what, in, in quotes, they are they're actually against the Fubara government. But here they are telling us that no, they are not actually uh, uh, trying to create war in in Nigeria State, River State, but they are only out there to thank the, the police personnel. And one will actually wonder, why not just send um, a clear note to um, uh, our IGP thanking them? Why carry out a protest? Why carry out a peaceful protest to actually bring back, uh, to, to appreciate our, our police personnel for taking over the 23 local government secretariat? And another question that most Nigerians are also asking, are we actually sure that uh, Martins and uh, Mewele will actually win this case? Because just like we, we told you earlier, the case is already in appeal court and we are uh, and he's saying that the law must take its full course. So, so at this point, most Nigerians are asking, just like I said, will Martins and Mewele actually win this case? Because it looks as if he's the one fronting it. And most Nigerians are still saying that Wiki being a father of this dearest state, River State, ha is yet to actually voice out that he's actually working on the ground. That is why uh, most speculations in regards to um, these smuggled weapons that, that we recovered yesterday were tacked to Wiki's boys. So at this point, this is all we have for you in regards to what is happening currently in River State. I bet you River State is peaceful for those uh, 
for, for, for those of you that are not here, but are actually seeing Rivers Christ, River State is peaceful. Police have actually taken control, just like the order that came from the IGP that all se uh, secretariat should be barricaded by our police officials. They have been there and it's, it's over a week now. Though we, we are hearing protests here and there. Even our dearest governor, Sim Fabara, confirmed that there is peace in River State. So regardless of what you're hearing, there is peace in our dearest state, River. All right, in regards to this particular headline, I want you to drop your comment. So just like every Nigerian is saying that um, Wiki is actually behind what is going on, you also can share your reactions. You also can... Uh, Throw up your thoughts in our comment section. All right, this has been the CIA Corner here on Taft TV. My name is Ayo Kemen. Do well to take care of yourself.